Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot, and in today's WordPress tutorial, we're going to be making custom WooCommerce shop and custom WooCommerce product pages using only the free version of Elementor. Okay, so here's our free shop page that we've made, and here's the free uh, product template that we've made as well in Elementor. Like I said, you can totally edit these in Elementor however you like. Here's the product template, and here's the shop template. So if that sounds interesting, keep watching. Okay, now to do this, we're gonna be using the free version of Elementor, and you're gonna need WooCommerce with a few products set up. Check out my earlier videos where I show you actually how to set up a WooCommerce store. It's very, very easy and quick. For our theme, I'm just using the free version of Astra, but anything that works well with Elementor will do, like Ocean or Generate Press theme, any of those will be cool. And WooLentor is what makes this all possible. The WooLentor free plugin, it has a lot of cool WooCommerce features that work with Elementor. So we're gonna check that out in a minute. And essential add-ons for Elementor. Now that's really cool. If you're using the free version of Elementor, definitely check that out as well. It gives you a lot of free features. It's optional for this tutorial, but um, definitely recommend checking that out as well. Okay, like I was saying, the plugin that really makes this all possible is WooLentor. Just under plugins, add new, search for WooLentor and go ahead, install and activate that one. Now I am basing this tutorial off an Astra starter template. So I've got Astra installed and the starter templates plugin installed as well. So under appearance and starter templates, you've got all these starter templates. Any of them will do for this tutorial, but I've chosen to use the uh, coach starter template for this tutorial. And this is what I've come up with so far. I've only just changed the front page, added my logo, and I've added the shop to the actual menu. Now, uh, when you install this starter template, it doesn't have WooCommerce. So we've obviously installed WooCommerce and added the shop to the menu. When you add the shop to a starter template that doesn't have WooCommerce already, all you get is the default uh, WooCommerce shop. It's not particularly attractive and you can't actually edit it with the free version of Elementor. So that's why we're using WooLentor. In the free version, we can actually design a shop page and we'll get to that in a minute. Now, as I said before, the only thing I've done is added shop to the menu. So that is under our customizer. In our customizer, we just go to menus and we go to our primary menu can add items here and we can just add our shop to that menu there like I've already done uh, all I did was just add that one on uh, move it to where we want in the menu and hit publish so that's all there is to that this is the basis of our tutorial and we can get started on making our custom shop and product pages so for this demo we've got our basic shop and I've just made four uh, simple products in WooCommerce for our demonstration so here they are and now I'm going to show you how to go ahead and make a new shop template. So let's go back to our dashboard and let's go to templates and let's go click on templates and we are gonna add a new template. This will be a page template and we're gonna call it, we're gonna call it shop template. We're gonna click create template and this will bring us into Elementor. So this is just a blank page with our header and our footer and we've got our first widget here where we can start dropping elements in. Now, WooLentor, allows us to do this and make it look really cool. So let's get started. I'm just gonna minimize the normal uh, Elementor icons here. And right at the bottom, we've actually got our WooLentor add-ons. Now, all this comes in the free version of WooLentor. So there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, the first one is just using the default product archive layout. So we can drop that in there. And we've got our WooCommerce uh, products right in Elementor now. So here we can actually choose how many columns and rows we want. So let's just drop that down to maybe two columns and two rows, shall we? And we can actually turn pagination on or off if we have more than one uh, page of products. So say if I was only using uh, the one row, we can actually move around between products, which is pretty cool. I'm just gonna leave that as the two by two grid. I think that looks good. And in terms of style, let's go to style and we can actually make the alignment centered. And I think that looks a little bit better and I think that's pretty good. So that's one way of doing it. I'll show you another way of doing it as well. So back on our WooLentor elements, we can use this one called Universal Product Layout, which is pretty nice as well. So uh, that actually loads up looking like this, and we can have columns as well. We can have two columns, for example, and it looks pretty similar. And we can change the query settings here. So as we can see, only three products have loaded because the product limit has been set to three. Let's pump that up to four. And we can search them by recent products, but you can actually 
filter that by a certain query. So if you just wanted your featured products or your best sellers to shop there, or you could have something that's on sale as your um, filter. So you can do that by however you like, and you can actually filter it by category as well. Or you could even make your own custom order and by using that. And you can actually add the IDs manually. So you could just type in the product numbers there and just show very specific products that you want to show on the page. So very powerful in terms of what you can display there. I'm just gonna do that by a recent products. I think that looks okay. Now let's have a look at our content settings. We can actually hide some of these meta things. So we can, uh, if we wanted to hide, say the category to simplify it a little bit, you could even hide the price if you wanted to, um, totally up to you. You can see that there's these little icons here, add to cart and quick view. You can actually customize that a little bit more as well. So that's under action button settings. So there's different styles. So this is style one. Style two looks like that with a square border and a white background. And actually like style three, that has a round background as well, uh, round border, sorry. So I think those look pretty cool. And you can actually choose to um, activate that when you hover as well. So that makes it a little bit more intuitive for the user as they hover, they can see, oh, okay, add to cart. So that's a nice way of uh, displaying your products as well. I might actually hit publish. And now we've got a template that's been set up. Let's put a little bit of a um, space in between these two so we can see the difference. Let's go put a divider maybe in there. Uh, let's get a basic thing and a divider. Let's drop that in. There we go. Cool. And hit update. Okay, one thing I should add, if we're using the default archive layout, this is linked to your theme as well. So if we go to our theme customizer, make sure that your um, let's go over to WooCommerce. Under WooCommerce in Astra, you wanna look at your product catalog and make sure that your shop columns, if you're using two columns in Elementor, make sure you're using two columns in your uh, shop columns as well. So usually that's set to four, I think, often, and it'll mess up the Elementor view if you have a different set of columns. So just make sure that's set up properly. Okay, now let's head back to our dashboard and actually have a look at WooLentor now. So WooLentor, we go to settings, and we can actually go to our WooCommerce template. There's a WooCommerce template tab here and we can actually select our own product archive page template. Now this is the shop template that actually gets used by your shop. And now we've got our shop template that we just built in Elementor there. So there we go, we can select that one, cruise down, hit save changes. And now we should have a customized shop all set up. So now when we go to our main page, we can click on our shop in our menu and load that up. And there we go, we've got our um, customized shop design that we've made in Elementor. So I did those two different methods using the default shop archive, which has these nice add to cart buttons, uh, using the default theme buttons. Plus we've got this WooLentor, the universal product layout, but we can totally edit this with Elementor now and we don't need the pro version anymore. So um, we can't actually get the, still we can't get to it through the menu, but we can get there through the templates like we did before. So back to our uh, templates and we go to our saved templates. And then we have to go is to our shop template and we can always edit that with Elementor. So that's the workaround. That's how you get the free version to work with Elementor, as easy as that. So pretty cool little hack uh, where you can get your free version of Elementor to make custom shop pages. So let's say we want to add a little bit more design to this page. Let's go ahead and look at some of the other pages that we got with this template. We've got this nice sort of header. We could add that to our shop page easily. So just like edit that with Elementor and we go ahead and I'm gonna right click and copy that section, go back to our shop, let's add a new section and paste that in there. So rather than saying Stephen's courses, let's call it, um, let's call it uh, digital uh, products and hit update. And rather than having this guy, let's just have something a little bit more, uh, a little bit more minimalist. So we have this little picture of the laptop there, go ahead and insert that. So pretty cool. All we've done is add a little bit of a header to our shop page. I'd like a little bit of white space in there as well. Um, but you get the idea. So we've got digital products, we've got uh, our courses and eBooks here. We've got uh, a different way of laying that out as well if you wanna use the um, universal method or the standard product archive for WooCommerce. So a couple of cool ways of doing it. I'm gonna hit update there. And as we've seen before, we can go back to our actual shop page there and let's reload that and we can see. Our only problem here is that the template looks like it's messed up. We haven't got a full width on our header. Not too difficult to fix that. I'll show you how to do that. So let's get our dashboard open again. I'm gonna open that in a new tab. And all we have to do is go to our pages. So uh, we've got pages there, all pages. 
and we should have a shop page there. So let's go ahead and edit that shop page. And all we need to do with that is let's change our content layout. So rather than using the customizer setting, let's just go full width stretched layout, hit update. And if we've got any luck, that should have fixed the issue. So let's reload that. Bam, there we go. So full width template, we've got our shop. Uh, we're using a couple different methods. Uh, just go with whatever you feel like and delete the section that you don't like, but that is all there is to it. So custom shop page, Elementor, free version, hit like. Hit, hit like right now because where else are you gonna get this kind of info? Only on Ideaspot. Okay, so from here, let's load up one of our products and see what it looks like. So that is the default uh, WooCommerce product page. So you've got um, a bunch of stuff here. Uh, again, we can't edit this in another Elementor, but we can use the WooLentor templates to edit this same as the shop page. Well, similar. So let's go ahead and try that. So again, we head back to our dashboard. We go to WooLentor and we're gonna have a look at our templates library. Now, we actually get free templates in the free version. So how cool is that? let us uh, They've actually got... Um, shop and product detail pages. So even if we don't want to design our own shop, we could have actually used, I think they've only given us one in the free version, but I mean, it's it's still pretty cool. Uh, one free shop template. If you don't want to design your own template, you can use this. It's, this is a bit cleaner than the actual default WooCommerce one. So that's kind of interesting at least. The other thing they've got though is the, um, let's go back to our library, the product detail page. Now this is pretty good. Uh, product details style one. So this replaces our um, products page. So we're gonna look at those uh, products. This is the default WooCommerce one. We're gonna use one of these ones from the uh, WooLentor template library. So let's go ahead and import the uh, product one, this style of template. So that's been successfully imported into our templates. So I'm gonna close that out. Let's go to our templates, We've got save templates. And there we go, we've got product details, product details, style one. We can edit that with Elementor. So here we go, we're loading it up. And now we've got a demonstration of what that template actually looks like. So you can go ahead and, and change this around in Elementor. So say I don't want that little training um, piece of meta there, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And you can actually click those pencils and see what they are. So that's the product data tab. You've got your um, product description in there and you can change the sizing and stuff and backgrounds and um, column widths and things. So you can do a little bit of tweaking to your product pages. I actually think this is pretty good by default. I just wanted to get rid of that little, that category down there. So now we head back to our WooLentor plugin and we go to the WooCommerce template and then we have to do is change our single product template. So we're gonna build that using the product details page style one that we just set up in Elementor. So let's just do that. Scroll down, hit save. And now we should have a new, let's reload this thing. And there we go. We've got our new uh, product page from Elementor using this template that we got for free. The only thing here is we don't have any header on that page. Now, easy to get around that too. Let's head back to our dashboard. We're gonna to go to templates. Let's look at those save templates. And this is the template we were using. We're gonna edit that. I'm sure all that issue was is that we are using, the template is the Elementor canvas. So that's the blank canvas with no header. Let's just go ahead and use the default template. Hit update. And let's head back to our product and let's reload that. And there we go. We've got our header back. We've got our footer on there as well. So all pretty cool, all looks good and we're ready to go. We can change any of this uh, the way we want it to look in Elementor. So now we're basically done. We've got our shop customized in Elementor. We can go ahead and click on the product, take it to our customized product layout that we did in Elementor too. We did all this for free, free starter site, free uh, Astra theme, free Elementor page builder. What more do you want? And like I said, you can use this for selling eBooks, for selling courses. You can even make a drop shipping website. I've put a couple of suggested videos there. So check those out and make sure you hit subscribe because it's just too much to cover in one session. You're going to want to subscribe and work through my videos one by one, bit by bit. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.